And now an update on a story that we've been following. A high school football team is without a home because of turf trouble. Tonight, Upper Darby took the field with still a lot of unanswered questions. Eyewitness News reporter Siafa Lewis has the latest. Throughout the Delaware Valley, these are the sights and the sounds of Friday night lights. High school football in all its glory. Sadly, for the boys on the Upper Darby High School football team, they'll experience no such joy and raucous atmosphere at home this season. Their new home field isn't safe, the district says. Tonight, at Upper Darby's game in media against Pencrest, we spoke to some parents. It's very disheartening, especially for the kids. There's been rumors since it's been installed that there was an issue. So um, the fact that it's just coming about now, after kids have already been hurt and we're already well into our season, it could have been addressed sooner, a lot sooner. Another questions if the incident at Bonner High School late last month, which police say involved a minor fight, but no gunshots as had been reported and feared, didn't influence this decision. They played it on it all summer. Now they can't play on it at all, and they can't play home games. That hit them pretty hard. So they were thinking that could it have been linked to the Bonner situation, that Upper Darby is not a good team, Upper Darby don't have good kids. And the issues involved here may run much deeper than just a football field. They deserve a lot better than what this district has given them. The disappointment and frustration no doubt runs deep for Upper Darby High School players and their parents, but there has been a surprising and pleasant byproduct of not being able to play at home. The schools that we've been going up against have been very supportive and welcoming to us. It's like a big extended family. You're playing against them, they're opposing teams, but there's a camaraderie. However, it's nothing like playing on your home field and you have seniors here that this is they want to be home. You know, it's just different when you're home. You take your shoes off different. In media, Siafa Lewis, CBS3 Eyewitness News.